You're coming off Saturday's scrimmage and today, how do you feel about number two quarterback? Well, right now we're in a situation where <laughs> it's still an or situation. Nobody really separated themselves, but you know, it's really, you know, uh, Caleb and, and Ricardo and, um, you know, Perry's probably down. I, you know, I think Perry's just uh, still coming back a little bit from that knee injury and, and uh, but that's that's where we are. But you know, anything can change if guys don't. Uh, some guy I'm still waiting. I'm waiting for somebody to step up, and if not, then we'll just make a week-to-week -week decision or situation-to-situation -situation decision. And then right tackle and kicker. Um, well, again, kicker. We you know Brad's still with the number ones, and uh, you know again we'll put out. You know, once we get into game week, when we have to put out a two deep, we will. But uh, you know, we looked at some different combinations, and you know, it looks like we've got some guys that uh, can settle in there. I mean, if you look today and saw that, um, you know, we had uh, Mike Medeiros at left, and had uh, Deontay our uh, net at left guard, and then um, Sal at center, Mike Dunn at right guard, and then uh, Ryan Doyle at uh, you know right tackle. So. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, that's that's pretty much, I think, how that will be. So hopefully we just don't get any injuries. With some of the injuries that you have had, have you guys done any positional changes, moved anyone around? No, not other than uh, anything that we, you know, just Derek, you know, that's it. And, you know, then that's a concern for me right now. I got to make sure I get these guys, we keep them healthy as we get to the game because offensively we're, we're banged up a little bit. We have uh, too many, you know, too many guys with some bumps and bruises and nicks and hopefully we get... Uh, some of those guys back, uh, you know, next week as we get into preparation for uh, Florida International. Uh, I think we're pretty good on on defense in terms of, uh, you know, where we are with the from an injury standpoint. But uh, you know, it is concerning for me a little bit, uh, you know, from an offensive standpoint where we are a little bit thin. But uh, like I said, I think we'll we'll be getting some of those guys back, uh, you know, real shortly, day or two or three or four days, something like that. But uh, uh, we'll get them back, and then that'll make us a little bit. Uh, uh, healthier and a little bit more stronger. Does it look like uh, Stefan was really getting after today? Could you just uh, talk about uh, Stefan and how he's developed uh, this camp season? And also, could you assess his first pitch at Cam New Yards the other night? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, he, he, he got it to where the guy could catch it. So, uh, <laughs> you know, that the, the form wasn't the greatest. And, uh, you know, he was, he was talking beforehand, and we were, he was saying that, uh, you know, the two, two Orioles that he really, you know, liked and remembered, his, uh, especially older old time player was Jim Palmer. And uh, so I told him, I said, he needs to get up there with that big wind up and that high leg kick, you know, and throw the ball. I said, no, coach. He says, I think I'll just try to throw it and get it close <laughs> so the guy can. So we had to tell him, you know, it's a, uh, you know, opposite foot, you know, with the, you know, with the right arm. So and uh, uh, but, you know, he was he was great doing that and it was good for him and uh, to be able to be out there to represent us. And then he had a chance to to meet Adam Jones and somebody that he he said that's his favorite Oriole player that of, of the current team. So he was jacked up about it. And um, but like I said, I think he tried to throw a cutter and it just cut a little bit too much, you know. So uh, but he, the th uh, thing with Stefan is I think the, what you see out of him, he's really stepping up more as a leader. And uh, that's the one thing that I've challenged him uh, with is that he needs to be more of a leader, not only by example, but also being vocal. Uh, and again, I think he, he understands what his role is, what he needs to do. And, and I like the fact that he is stepping up and doing it. And, uh, uh, and he's getting better you know, at it you know, each and every day. So you know, from that standpoint, it's, uh, you know, it's good to see that development take place. Coach, is uh, <clears throat> Nick Clem, did he get hurt or is he not here? Uh, again, well, yeah, yeah, he did, but we'll, we'll cover that on Monday when we, when we have it. But, yes, he did uh, sustain really a, a, a non-contact injury, and, and uh, he was just past setting and got the weight, uh, you know, just had to wait on his foot. And, and so, again, we're still waiting to see exactly, you know, what the situation is, but uh, I'll have a better, up, you know, update that. You know, on Monday. And it's done. Just outplayed Zeller at right guard. My my whole thing with the offensive line has always been: let me find my five best guys, and um, and find the guys that I think that uh, just felt that with that group, that was the five best in terms of uh, what we have. And uh, Andrew's got some things that he knows he's got to work on, and you know he'll be our right now. He'd be our third guard, but uh, I just like the way that Michael Dunn has been playing. And, and I, you know, it gets back to where you have the, 
there in the offensive line, and I don't think of that as a position change, but uh, since it is an offensive lineman, but uh, but when you sit there and you assess and you evaluate uh, your talent and you see that you might have, say, three tackles that you feel really good about, then what you'd have to do is, at least I do, as a head coach, I say, well, is one, and you look at your guard situation, you say, okay, is one of those tackles better than maybe one of the guards you have if you feel good about them? And uh, so we, we put uh, uh, Michael in there and, uh, and watched him and liked what we saw and then had him get out there, as you guys saw, out in the scrimmage. And I thought he did well and just feel like, hey, that, uh, that puts our five best out there. And then we know that, uh, we're a little, like I said, we're a little thin there. We're going to have to have some guys that uh, can back up both sides probably. And the kicking game, um, Craddock had a rough day on Saturday. How do you feel like he's progressed throughout this uh, preseason, and has, has he been able to kind of figure out how to get that consistent performance? Well, he's been like a tease, <laughs> you know, to us uh, a little bit. You know, comes out here and, you know, one day he's not uh, as consistent as you would like, and then he comes out uh, the next day and he hits everything through it, and it's like that wasn't the same guy yeah. as the day before. and. And um, that's the thing that uh, I'm trying to figure out what I can do to, to make him more consistent. Uh, but he's got the leg uh, just like Adam. Adam's kind of been the same way. Um, they, have the, they have the tools. And now what we've got to do is we've got to figure out whether it's uh, we've got to do something from a mental standpoint or uh, what we've got to do. And that's just something that we're working out each and every day. But it, I know they got the ability. It's just a matter of we've got to do whatever we can to help them be, be consistent. Can you rate CJ in LA's camps so far? Uh, I think CJ's had a very good camp. Uh, I think he's, I think he's thrown the ball better than he's, you know, had since uh, I've been here. Uh, he's worked extremely hard at it. He's doing a good job from a leadership standpoint, uh, taking charge, and he's moving well and showing no ill effect. Uh, LA, I think uh, he's gotten better, uh, more confident. I think he's playing with more confidence now than what he did before. I think he understands. Uh, the system understands what his job is, and um, he's going out and execute. And oh, I'm sorry. Will likely is, is is a little bit short for a corner. He's like five seven. But do you think he's athletic enough? And I know you have established corners, but do you think he's athletic enough to be a, a successful corner? Yeah, but we wouldn't have recruited him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. I mean, Will's a competitor. I mean, Will plays bigger than his size. That's the thing, and and that's where. You really appreciate guys like Will because I think they understand that. I think he understands what his strengths and what his weaknesses are. And so what he always tries to do is make sure he puts himself in a position of strength. And uh, but he's he's got as much football savvy as I've been around for a freshman, you know, maybe ever. But uh, I just I just like the way he competes. I like the way, you know how he understands everything, how he works, and you know he doesn't back down. He doesn't care if he if he had if we told him you got to guard a six ten guy, he'd find a way to guard him. You know he'd find a way to do whatever he had to do, and and that's the thing that I think makes him so successful. And uh, and again for for a guy a young guy, he he plays with an extreme amount of confidence, which uh, you know sometimes that's hard to find. Is safety still back and forth between Hendy and Davis? Uh, no, right now we have uh, uh, Sean with the number ones, but that that one was as close as you could probably get, and, and that's you know it's what we told the kids, and you know it was like you know like that close, and uh, so they know that hey Sean knows he's got to come out here and continue to perform each day. AJ uh, is is practiced very hard, he has before too, so he knows that if Sean opens the door or or whatever. But you know the thing that I tried to tell. That I tried to tell AJ and tried to tell all the guys. Yesterday, yesterday is always a tough day because when you make these decisions and you sit down and you talk to the to the players, you know, they they bust their butts and uh, they give a lot of effort and and you know this is a hard game. It's a hard game. Uh, there's a lot that goes into it. And then when they you know sit down and you tell them that hey the other guy's going to be starting, you know they're disappointed and they're they're down a little bit and. And everything else, but uh, you know, you just tell them, say, "Hey, now the true competitors got to come out because you're going to be one play away." But as I told AJ, you're a starter on this football team. He's starting for us in dime. You know, he's going to be starting in special teams, and that's one of the things we had to do is get these guys to understand how important special teams are. Because I think we got enough talent to really be pretty special uh, on special teams with our cover. You know, again, our punter and kickers got to do their jobs, but. Um, 
but uh, I, 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 that's gonna, that's always, I mean, that's what you want. You want that ongoing competition because the guy who is a starter knows that, hey, even during the season, I got to go out and perform and I got to play well uh, because if I start making mistakes, there's, you know, other people that can, can step in. So it helps to keep that focus and keep that uh, intensity going in practice.